Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Sunday, the seventh day of April 2024. Open your mouth this morning as you begin to say Amen to today's prayers and prophetic declarations. In the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 31, Romans chapter number 8 and verse 31, it says, what shall we say? What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody. If God is for you, not that enemy will not try to be against you, but they will not succeed. Therefore, I want to pray for everyone under the influence of my of the sound of my voice this morning. It doesn't matter how many people are gang up, I mean ganging up against you or they have ganged up already. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will frustrate their evil plans and schemes against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody this morning, I am led to pray for you that all their gatherings will not amount to anything. All their proposals, their propaganda, they are going up and down to make sure that they unseat you from that office. I declare by the authority of the living God, the Lord will frustrate their plans. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them take counsel together. Their counsel will just be like the counsel of Ahithophel. The Lord will turn them to the Lord will turn their counsels into foolishness. In Jesus' name, I am praying for you today that where you have been honored, or where you have been going, and people have been honoring you, your honor will not turn to disgrace. Your honor will not turn to dishonor. In the mighty name of Jesus things that have been working for you positively and people have been seeing the grace and the glory of God upon your life. I decree that enemy will not tamper with your glory. Oh, the Lord says that there's somebody this morning that I should pray for you that what the enemies have tampered with in your life, the Lord say is going to restore them back. I say amen to that. Whatever enemies have tampered with in your life, whether in your spouse's life, whether in the life of your son, your daughter, any of your children, maybe in your family, maybe there's no peace again. Maybe the Lord, maybe the enemy have tampered with your finances. They've tampered with your work. They've tampered with something tangible in your life and you are no longer the same. As I pray this morning for divine intervention and divine undertaking and divine, in the divine recovery. The Lord said, what enemies have tampered with, he said, he will restore in the name of Jesus Christ. You will continue to receive honor. You will continue to receive grace. This day is Sunday, the first day of this blessed week. This is the first Sunday in the month of April. I prophesy by the authority of the living God that the mercy of God shall be your portion this week. In Jesus' name, pregnant woman that are going to be entering favor room to have their babies this week. I decree that all will end in praise. For everyone that will be traveling today, whether locally, nationally, or internationally, I decree that your journey will end in praise. The Almighty God will journey with you. In Jesus' name, all of you that have exams to write this week, I pray that the Almighty God will give you understanding and wisdom. You will not fail that exam. Those of you that with your own is interview, I see you succeeding already. You will come out smiling in Jesus' name. Somebody is expecting a document somewhere, maybe it's in your international passport or your visa or a reply from somewhere that you have been expecting. I see in the spirit several people getting positive and favorable responses this week in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout Amen. I believe as I receive, praise God. Hallelujah. Today, in, our, in the continuation of our Bible reading, today is Sunday, and by the grace of God, we are in, still in the book of Psalm. We are reading Psalm 101 and 102. The book of Psalm, chapters 101 and, 100 and 101 and 102. Those are the two chapters we are reading today. In our daily communion with God, today being 7th day of April, the heavenly meal there for us is assurance of God's love. That is found on page 107. 
page 107 of our daily communion with God, assurance of God's love. Please read, study, and meditate. The Lord bless you. Let me take some testimonies this Sunday morning as we glorify the Lord and thank Him for the testifiers. The first one is a testimony, testimony. My name is Soso Person from Ondo State. Dear Reverend Mike Kenola, I give God the glory for the salvation of my soul. I've been in financial mess for the past two years. I was duped of certain amount of money, which added to the fragile financial situation before me. Before, I'm, I'm indebted to so many people, including some online banking. At a point, I felt like selling my only house after selling my cars and lands to settle debts, but God intervened. However, I participated in the 30 days fasting diligently and burnt my prayer request as directed. The first on my request, which is financial breakthrough, has been answered by God. I got an international remote job, which I can conveniently do with my current job and yet pay higher than my current job. Though I'm still paying the debts, but I know God has delivered me by this. It's just a matter of months. I will be able to pay all my debts and be free again. Devil struck a day. Devil, devil struck a day to the good news. But again, God rescued me. I had an auto accident on the eleventh day of February, while I got my appointment letter on the twelfth day of February, which coincidentally was my birthday. I suffered serious wound on my hand and neck. Immediately I got home, I wrapped the man, I wrapped the neck and the hand with the mantle I had. The neck got resolved by second day, and the wound lasted only two weeks. It can only be God. Thank you, Reverend, for the thank you, Reverend, for the anointing of God on you. May heat never run dry. I've sent my tithe, and I'm believing God that He will answer all my training, re, remaining requests. Please share my testimony. Wow! Thank God for divine and timely intervention. There, more of God goodness in your life, sir. Another testimony is here. Good morning, sir. I want to thank God for delivering me for delivering my husband from the spirit of death yesterday. I kept on saying amen to, to yesterday's prayers. Daddy, you kept insisting that none of us, none of our best pictures will be used for rest in peace. And I said amen. God saved my husband from a gunshot that killed two people at his brother's barrier. He miraculously escaped death. Thank you, Jesus. Daddy, God is using you for his glory. More grace and anointing to function. Amen. Thank God for that great deliverance. Another one is here. Good evening, my daddy in the Lord. My name is Soso Person from Lagos. I want to testify to the goodness of God over my family on testimony alert. Whenever you pray for us for miracle alert, I always shout a big amen. Even though I don't know anyone to help me out on this. When people share testimony on alert, I will wonder who will send me money. But God showed up for me and my family since last year, December. Someone we least expected gave my husband money because of what he did for the person. Since then, he kept sending money to us that we should use it, that we should use it to be buying food for the house because he knows the situation in Nigeria. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. I pray for more anointing and unction to function well for you, sir. This is my fourth testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God for divine provisions there. Another testimony is here. Good evening, Daddy. More grace, more anointing upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. I have come to say thank you to this great God for answer prayers. First, I call on your line on the 23rd of December and mommy picked it. And I told her that one of my prayer partner, partner uh, two, one of my prayer partner's two children were kidnapped at Abuja. She prayed with me, and we continue trusting God for their release. To God be the glory, they were all released last week. Though we paid some money, but it was not even one quarter of what they demanded at first. This is because God came through for us. Secondly, I traveled alone. I long, I traveled along Kaduna Jaji Road last week, last weekend though having some fear in me for the journey. But I remember Daddy always prayed that our fear will not happen, and my fear turned to faith, and the Lord saw me through and brought me back safely. God brought me back safely. 
I do not take this for granted. More anoint, more testimonies loading. Thank you, Daddy and Mommy, for always being there for us. God bless your ministry and enlarge your coast. Amen. Another testimony is here. Good evening, sir. My Father and the Lord, I'm a listener of God's word through you for the past two years or more. But this is my first testimony. Shortly after we finished the prayer and fasting, I noticed that there is a whitish liquid coming out of my left breast. I thought that maybe it was while I was eating that I stained myself. But by the time I saw it again, I have to tell my daughter who is a medical doctor. She immediately gave me a checkup but did not find anything wrong as at the time because it was towards evening time. So when early, so very early the next morning, I checked it myself and I discovered there was a lump very close to my nipple. So I told her and her senior brother, who is also a medical doctor, they immediately contacted their colleagues for scan and biopsy, for scan and biopsy test. But immediately I discovered the lump. I started using my mantles. The scan shows how big the lump is, and it was rated stage four. But I still have to do the biopsy in order to be sure it was benign or cancerous. I did the scan on the 21st day of February and biopsy on, the Feb on February 28th. After the scan, I was using my mantles and just thanking God because I have a strong faith that I will share my testimony. I did the biopsy again on February 28th and the result came out yesterday, 5th day of March, and there is no trace of cancer in my body. I thank the God of Reverend Mike Kenyola who answers prayers promptly. I also thank you, sir, for helping me to build up my faith in Christ Jesus. Your teachings have really helped me. Have really helped my spiritual growth. It is my prayer that the anointing upon your head will never run dry. Thank you and your team of workers, sir, for allowing God to use you mightily in His kingdom. I'm so so person from South America. Praise God. We thank the name of the Lord. Let's take the last one for today. Good morning, Pastor Enela and all the Hour of Destiny crew. Please share my testimony. I've been listening to this program for over two years now through a sister from the United States. God bless her. So before my cycle last month, I discovered some lumps under the right side of my breast. So I prayed and I rejected it. As I finished praying, I remembered I had a mantu. I had a mantu that Pastor Enola anointed after our January fast. I took it and placed it on it, and I slept. Men and brethren, before I woke up, the pain was gone. I want to say all thanks to the God of Pastor Enola. May the oil on your head never run dry in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, to you be the glory because you are the God that is doing it. Even though people are say, past God of Pastor Enola, you are the Almighty. Thank you for taking the glory. Thank you for healing your children. Thank you for blessing them. Thank you for giving everyone testimonies. May the name of the Lord be praised. Father, please keep doing it and keep blessing us in Jesus' name. Thank you, faithful God. Please remember to read your Bible today, this Sunday, the book of Psalm, chapters 101 and 102. Tomorrow is Monday. If Jesus tarries, we'll meet again. God bless you. Have a lovely Sunday and God bless your week in Jesus' name. Amen.